The 5210 is a continuous production machine. The cycle time of the machine means that we can run a shorter build during the day. We take that out and then overnight we can run a nighttime build and then in, first thing in the morning a technician will come and remove that. That is fantastic because it means that we have regular production cycles which means that scheduling for our staff um, is uh, repetitive throughout the, throughout the week. Sasha, 3D people are an on-demand 3D printing service. What sets you apart from anybody else in the industry? It's been our goal to create a really straightforward and stress-free platform for ordering industrial polymer components. And we've done that by sharing our expertise um, to really inspire, um, in, inspire innovation um, and to become your trusted guides, really, your allies, to be able to bring new products into this world. Automation and software development has been a critical part of our business growth. It's enabled us to reduce our lead times, reduce costs through increased manufacturing efficiencies, um, and we're delighted, really, to be able to share those savings with our customers. So it's really easy to use. Um, what customers are you manufacturing for and taking these parts to? So we actually serve an incredibly diverse uh, range of customers. Um, that's in industries such as robotics, automotive, medical, consumer electronics. Um, but it's anything where there's a, the value of the products is higher and the, um, the volume is relatively low. So it's a sweet spot really that's uh, before the investment of injection molding starts to pay off. Um, and that's really where we fit. How easy is it for customers to be able to order parts and consumables from you? So that is actually really the crux of almost what started us wanting to uh, make the company. The ease of ordering is something that's really important to us. Um, having a human approach um, and uh, educating our customers throughout the process is something that can be quite novel, um, especially if you're in a more uh, uh, typical industrial manufacturing space uh, like uh, CNC or injection molding. Um, so we've actually developed um, soft automation and uh, software development have been really critical to our business growth um, and we've built an online application where you can upload 3D files, see prices immediately online um, and uh, if you choose to purchase with us they go straight through into our system and they can ship in as little as two days. That's great for a customer to be able to liaise with you in that small amount of lead time. But a good question is, why did you buy this HP printer, especially from Matsura? Okay, so um, the HP machine is exceptional for us because we are really geared up to produce end use components. Um, the materials that it works with are incredibly versatile. They can be used uh, in all sorts of different industrial applications. Um, and also the speed and recyclability of the unused powder means that it's, well, we can produce components incredibly quickly with a short lead time and for a very economical price point. Um, Matsura have been absolutely fantastic for us dealing with this process. We actually first approached them um, in 2018 when we were looking um, at SLS machines as well and we were really impressed. So when we were ready to come back and purchase a uh, machine, they were top of our list. Um, the reasons why they were so good for us um, is actually I found that their sales process was really, uh, they, weren't, they weren't pushy, they were incredibly open. They explained to us all of the uh, positives of the machine as you'd expect but they actually also really went through all of the drawbacks too. Uh, they made the limitations of the technology clear to us um, and they also helped us with some really rigorous testing where we pushed the machine beyond its limits, found out all of its capabilities and that really gave us the confidence to buy this machine. One question I want to ask is when it got dropped off, how long did it take to get up and running? What was, did you have any training or were you able to get straight on printing? Yeah, so Matsura and HP have a training system which really was uh, exceptional and it's still going on now uh, three months into having the machine. There's little taster pickup sessions as well. Um, our technicians are actually really, at, they're loving it. They find it really interesting. Um, but in terms of the setup, when it originally arrived, it's incredibly uh, quick and easy. Um, so the, the drop off of the machine and the installation takes about a week. Um, and at the end of that week, you're producing parts already. 
Um, because the process uh, is shared with a lot of uh, what already happens in our factory, we're, we're technically geared up to handle that very well already. So we, it meant that we were up and running producing customer parts within, within a matter of weeks. So you talk about two-day lead times. How are you making parts that quickly on this machine? Well, um, 3D printing is often seen as a mysterious sort of magical technology where parts just appear out of nowhere. Obviously, there is a bit more of a process to it than that. Um, but we receive 3D files from our customers. We've obviously got to check them over, make sure that they have got uh, wall thicknesses and within the minimum amounts that uh, the machine is capable of producing. Um, then we prepare the files into a, into a nest and we actually produced many of the components all together on the same time. The machine runtime is incredibly short. It's got a very short like, uh, cycle time. So um, we can print the parts, cool them, post-process them. They go through the quality control procedures before they are packaged and shipped to our customers. That's amazing that you're creating so many parts in such little time. But how does it work? So the MJF uh, technology is a powder bed fusion machine. Uh, it works very similarly to the uh, older SLS machines, which are still uh, incredible. Um, but the key difference is the heating elements. So the multi-jet fusion it spreads a very fine layer of uh, polymer plastic, in our case nylon PA12, across the print bed. It then uses um, inkjet print heads uh, to jet uh, detailing and fusing agents across the build um, and then it uses a uh, light source to heat this uh, heat the agent areas and fuse the parts together. That was really technical and one of the benefits about this was uh, recycling material. Yes, so this is actually a great reason for us to go into the technology as well. The powder recyclability of this machine is fantastic. And what that means is uh, we can produce larger, more sparse components that don't uh, fill up the whole of the build chamber in terms of the build density. Um, and we can reuse all of the unused powder. Well, 80% of, of the unused powder can be recycled. This actually puts the, uh, the pricing model of the MJF different to our alternative SLS. Um, and it means for certain geometries, um, you can get parts for a much more economical price. And that's a huge benefit for you because you're saving money, you're recycling material. Would you invest in another one of these machines? Uh, we are on our way to investing in more, yes. <laughs> I absolutely would.